What is going on everybody? It is a beautiful day. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, shout out to you. What I want to talk about today is four tips. Four tips that have really helped me with protecting my energy. We're going to dive a little deeper today. We're going to dive into the deep water. So if you can't swim, I don't know what to tell you. Tip number one, when dealing with protecting your energy. And first off, what do I mean by protecting your energy? When you wake up in the morning and you're feeling good about the day, you're feeling optimistic, you get into the car, you're on your way to work, you know, you get to work, you got a boss that is just projecting all their negative energy on you, you got coworkers who are in bad moods and they're just, they're just letting you have it. You know what I mean? They're just giving you all of what they feel, you know, because they didn't wake up in a good mood. You know, how do you keep yourself up? How do you keep yourself optimistic? How do you protect yourself from those outside forces that are unwanted? One of the first things you need to do is really learn yourself. And this can take some time. You know, one of the things I really had to do and had to focus on growing up and over the last couple years is figure out what it is that ticks me, what it is that really gets me out of my, my safe place, out of my peaceful place, you know, and, and I had to really recognize how my energy flows. You know, your energy is going like this. What is it that somebody can say to you? What is it that somebody can trigger to make your energy go down, get you upset, get you angry? Get you wanting to curse somebody out you know figure out those things and then figure out why before you can really plan on dealing with anyone who's trying to attack you you have to understand first when you're being manipulated once you understand that then you can you know you can withstand anything that comes your way because you know it you see it and then you can you can plan ahead you can do certain things to, to protect yourself. You know, that's, that's the main, that's the most important thing is learning who you are down to the spirit level, down to the emotional level, down to the feeling level, because you're triggered for certain reasons. You know, once you go down deep, it's kind of difficult to do sometimes because you really got to dive deep and see some of those things that you, have, you may have suppressed that may have hurt you a long time ago that still carries some negative energy with you, you know? And then once you're able to finally deal with those things, it won't affect you as deeply as it used to. So that was the first thing I needed to learn how to do, is learn myself, learn who I am down to the spirit level. The second tip I can give you is really just shielding your energy. Now this is something that, that definitely takes practice as well. This is on more of an energetic level. You, you don't just walk around with a shield you know, like a Spartan shield and think that you are just gonna bounce all type of negativity away from you. You have to really cover your spirit, cover your aura, cover your energy on more frequency energetic level. Now, how do you do this? This looks different from, from different people. Everyone's different, you know. If prayer helps you out, that's a certainly a, a very important step into shielding yourself, you know, praying to whatever God you believe in, whatever superior being you believe in, whoever you talk to at night, that is one way to shield yourself. You know, but it's not just words, you have to feel it. That's the energetic thing, because energy comes through the emotions, through the feelings, surround yourself that way. It's more than just the words, it goes down to the belief, to the actual feeling and the emotions of it. You know, meditation, which is something I really like to do. When I wake up in the morning, one of the first things I do most of the time, I'm not going to say every day, but most of the time is meditate. And I'm able to set my intentions for the day. I visualize myself covered in this violet, this gold color. These are colors that are high frequency colors, high vibrant colors that, that shield you. I imagine it. I use my imagination and I visualize it and I summon the emotions and the feelings behind it to really catalyze those emotions. And that truly helps me out. You know, when I go out on the football field, I do that to protect myself. I help myself through this practice, through this ritual. You know, it could be yoga. 
It could be crystals. Crystals are another thing. I have a few crystals. There are certain crystals that that are meant to protect. Crystals are, you know, these stones that have certain frequencies from the earth, from Mother Earth, and they carry with it powers and all types of different things. There's a lot of different crystals. You can do your research to learn more about them, you know, but those are definitely things that you want to carry around that emit certain energy, certain frequencies. So, you know, that's something that you could definitely work on. What's the third step, the third tip I can give you to protecting your energy? It would be sound frequency and understanding sound. Because sound is frequency, music is frequency. There's a reason why certain songs get you motivated. There's a reason why before a football game, a lot of football players are listening to rock, you know, Migos, Future, you know, certain frequencies that get you amped up, that gets the adrenaline pumping, that gets the adrenaline flowing. You know, there's a reason why when you're coming home at night and it's late, there's usually some slow jams playing, things to kind of lower your energy, kind of get you ready for bed. That's because this is all frequencies. Frequencies change our moods in certain ways because they have powers. If you want to understand the universe, you got to understand energy, understand frequency. So sound is very important. And 528 hertz is one frequency that I want you guys to check out. This is a frequency that is known as a miracle tone. It's something that I play when I'm meditating. If you go to a yoga class, you'll probably hear them playing it. And it's, a, and it's a way to really clear your space. And so, understanding frequency, understanding music, it'll help you really, you know, protect yourself, you know, the right way. And just use it, use it for the right reasons. Sound is one way. The fourth way to really protect your energy and something that I'm still working on. Trust me, I'm still working on this. Eating the right food eating the right foods. You are what you consume, and food is the most important thing, in my opinion, in terms of what you consume. When you're eating just dead foods, I have a Sonic that is right across the street from where I'm staying here in Houston, one that I can walk to, and I really have to, I really have to tell myself, I had to drive by it every single day, and I had to really say, no, no, Jelani, you don't want to shake, and you don't want a burger from there, because those foods are going to lower your density, they're going to lower your frequency, and it's just not good. You have to really learn how to protect yourself from yourself by eating the right foods, by hydrating, by eating plant, a plant-based diet, foods that are vibrant from the sun, that, have, that has energy from the sun, you know, when you're constantly eating those, those dead foods, you know, frequency from these animals that were treated poorly are still in the foods. Like energy doesn't, doesn't go away, it doesn't die with that animal. Like all their pain, all of their sadness still is in that food and you, you start to embody it. That's why if you eat so much McDonald's, you're gonna feel sluggish, you're gonna feel like just, bleh, you're gonna feel terrible. Eating the right foods is very important. That's why by the end of 2018, I will be full vegan. I'm saying that right now, y'all can hold me to it. That is something that is a goal of mine because of this very reason. Because you are what you consume. And I want to be one with the universe. So that's why I'm doing it. Now, when you say you are what you consume, it's all about all the different types of ways we consume things. It could be visually through the TV screen. You know, if you're watching low frequency stuff, World Star Hip Hop, if you're just watching just fights, fights, fight compilations on World Star Hip Hop, and that's what you're consuming, that's what you're attracting, that's what you're gonna continue to attract. You know, so if you're trying to protect your energy, then you might not wanna consume all those things because you're just gonna kinda bring that into your life. It's gonna be more of something that you think about, it's gonna be more of something that shows up into your life. And that's just how it works. That's how it works. Trust me, it's not something that, you know, you, you gotta just have to practice it and see for yourself, you know, and, and understand it that way. But, you know, these are just some tips that have helped me out. You know, if, you, if it resonates with you and you liked it, 
click that like button, it really helps me out. If you wanna hear something else, I'm really always down to dive deep. That's why you hear this waterfall in the background. Cause I can swim. It's like, I can't really swim, but I'm ready to dive deep whenever y'all are ready to. But I hope to help y'all out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're returning, hope you enjoyed it. But I will talk to you guys later. Until next time, peace.